Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator. And today we are going to do a beautiful sugar designs over the red uh, gel polish. Absolutely amazing for a Christmas time. You have to uh, check this out. Yes, yeah, so we are going to paint all those different designs, the teddy bear and uh, uh, the bells. And I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Also, I've got a little surprise to all the members. Uh, so thank you so much. First of all, thank you so much, guys, for all your support, uh, for being a member of this channel. And um, especially for those channel lovers, like uh, that's the lower tier. Um, I feel like I want to give you a free gift and uh, it will be available and posted to you on the 24th of December. And that's a Christmas Eve in Poland and we celebrated it slightly different than in the uh, UK, like starting with the Christmas uh, Eve supper. And I f that's when we are opening up the Christmas presents. Uh, so I thought that will be a day when I will share a wonderful uh, wintery uh, design training for you absolutely free of charge just because you are supporting me so much uh, it will be available in the community section and i will just give you the uh, access link uh, to this uh, online training so thank you so much for your support and yeah once once a year i can treat you uh, guys as well and give something back uh, i really appreciate it but anyway let's start this beautiful christmasy um, design and also merry christmas to all of you and all your families let's Let's start. I'm starting with buffing those tips and then removing the dust. And we are going to paint them nice and beautiful red for a Christmas. And this one is 162. They are some nice looking designs and super quick for a salon. So I'm just applying those beautiful red. And what I love about it is that you can paint it all the clients' nails red color and then do it only on the one nail or you could do it on all of them, depending really what what you want to like what your clients' expectations are and what your ideas are as well. I will just show you the technique and you can really paint so many different things with it. If you've got guys any questions like just drop them down below in the comments because I always uh, read them and then I'm trying to answer them in the next videos as well. And also if there is any designs you have really like, liked and you wanted to recreate them, hashtag Dorota Palicka on the social medias, uh, especially the Instagram because uh, uh, then I can see them as well. And once uh, sometimes we do the video with the cameraman. Uh, where I'm going to show your work, guys, too. Okay, so just cover the entire tip. And the last one. And I think fantastic way for the insp fantastic thing for the inspiration for these designs is our like a window stickers um, or any other Christmas decorations because uh, this way you could easily really recreate them on the nails. Okay, just cook this one. So after you have painted all the nails with the color, they, I think in blue it will look absolutely fantastic as well. I have choose red just because it's Christmas and that's the most Christmassy red. Uh, but honestly in blue, more for the winter time because um, obviously the clients are going for those snowy look uh, nails uh, in January as well. So just swap the color for blue and uh, they would be fab for for January too. So I'm just applying the top coat on the entire 
hip. Make sure you've got clean top cut. Mine has a bit of glitter in there. Because I'm covered in a glitter now with all those sugary designs. And in some of the previous videos I have guys told you like that sugar is a must have for a Christmas time. Like must have. Okay. And the last tip. And then cook it inside. Also, some of you have asked me for the lamp uh, as well, which I'm using. So that's the lamp and that's the Teresa UV LED nail lamp. It is absolutely a fab one. It cures really nice and quick. Uh, I can give you a link in the description of this video as well for, um, for this lamp because I find it fantastic. Now we are going to prepare the paint on French gel. So paint on French gel and this time I'm needing actually quite a lot of it because all our designs are going to be done with this gel. And using the D-liner brush, which is a really nice and fine brush, we are going to paint the first beautiful design. And uh, what I want you to do is to outline the edges. So just outline the edges, color it in. Okay, now I'm going to slow down so this part is nicely done. Keep your hand nice and still, nice and still. And you have to do the same pressure. If you want to have the old line of the needle, you have to keep the same pressure. Because if there will be a place where you touch stronger, you will leave more product. And the places where you touch lighter, you will leave less product on. So you have to be very even with your pressure. And I find that this design have been always a struggle for me, like outlining the, the nail. Because it's so precise, you have no room for a mistake in there. But with the D-liner brush, like, it's so much easier. And because it's easier, it's also quicker as well. But I'm not, don't work with too straight brush. You kind of want to lie your brush a little bit. Okay, I'm just touching up the edges. So we have painted the first part. You can't cure it at yet. And now we are going to paint some beautiful bells. So we've got one. On the other side, we are going to have another one. But this one is going to be at the different angle. Then on the top, you want to color it all in. So basically what you want to do is you want to follow the shape of the bottom bell, leave an empty gap. Color that in.
So color all in. And then the next bell is just kind of a little bit behind it. Again, color it in, but leave the small gap. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see the design. Okay, so this bell is more behind. Now we are going to paint the bow. Again, you want to have an empty space. So the bow is going to be here. And you can see I have uh, misshaped it, the, the bell a little bit because the bow is coming there. Okay, one part of the bow, leave an empty space. And then the other part of the bow, leave an empty space. Just going to clean my fingers. <laughs> Go all the way to the top. Rounded part again with an empty space. And now we are going to paint the bow. So on the top. I always say it is like a kind of triangle, almost a love heart shape. And uh, this is the easiest way for me to paint the bow. Okay, and same on the other side. So make an almost triangle with a love heart shape. That's honestly the easiest pay. Easiest, easiest way to paint the bow. And on the bottom, again, empty space. Same on the other side. Empty space. Okay, so this way we have painted a wee bow. And then inside of the bells. Once you're happy with this design, you have to take your sugar. And I'm going to use this time, you can use any fine glitter. So I've got lots of different ones. I've got indigo, I've got Ariel from Neonios, any kind of glitters. But I find that Mermind glitter is the finest one. This is the most delicate one glitter. And because it's so fine, it's not coming off like it's not rough for the clients and they're happy to wear it. So sprinkle the entire tip and then cook it inside the lamp. Okay, on this tip we are going to do a snowflake for a change. So again, outline everything nice.
And honestly, guys, like anything which comes to your mind can, can be done with this design. Very Christmassy. And again, the longer time I would spend on painting it, the nicer this is going to be. Okay, and now we are going to paint the snowflake. So I'm doing a dot with the dotting tool. And the arms of the small flake. At the end, I'm placing another dots. And then inside, another lines. And same with the snowflakes, like you could create any type of the snowflake. But don't make it too thin, like you really want to have the thickness of the snow. Okay, and then another arms. And another arms on the side, smaller small flakes. And then pick up your dotting tool. And add a couple dots. Okay, so we've got a nice and snowy design. Sprinkle it. So sprinkle. Obviously, actually, I find that uh, uh, applying the sugar on the client is much easier than doing it on the tips and then cook it. And then on the last one, we are going to do maybe some Christmas present or a quick teddy. I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> so outline it, but keep all of them outline it like. So nice and even pressure. We might actually do, I don't know, this, uh, a teddy bear. Okay, let's do teddy bear. OK, 
Okay, we want the teddy to sit on something. And then we want to start paint, painting the teddy here. I'm going to clean my brush because as you could see it for outlining, I had most of my brush and the paint on French gel. And for the detail, if you want to paint the detail, the, paint, uh, the brush uh, has to be only slightly dipped into the product. If it's too much, it is not going to um, work nice for you guys. Okay, I'm starting with the hat because this is the easiest stuff for me to paint. And I'm always suggesting you like start painting Sorry, we had some noise in a microphone. <laughs> Cameraman is saying, is it okay now? Yeah, okay. We kind of keep watching for the noises in the microphone because we had quite a few destroyed videos because of it. And it is annoying because <laughs> we spent so much time recording them. So I'm starting with the hat because this is the easiest part for me to paint, like the easiest one. And I suggest you always starting with the easiest parts to paint. Okay, and then a wee triangle at the top. And a pompon. But let's start doing a little bit, oops. Let's start doing a little bit of his face as well. Okay, so when the hat is there, I can start doing nicer face now. and paint his ear. Okay, so he's going to have one ear visible. I hope guys you can start seeing those teddy bear now. A nice pumpkin. Right on the top. And that's a really cute ear. It is actually a pretty difficult to paint it because uh, if you would just color it in, you would have all the all the places color in. And now we have to watch for double mistakes because we want to have those empty spaces as well in there. Because those empty spaces are showing up the design. Now we need to find the space for the eye. Okay, so one eye. And then the second eye. So those spaces are empty. Okay, color the rest in. So we've got two eyes. And then the nose, again, we need to find an empty space for it. Okay, so we've got those empty space. So it already starts to look like a teddy bear head, which is so cute. And then we want to paint a huge bowl again. So tidy up in there. A bowl. Other side. So we triangle, love heart shape. 
in this way we're able to paint a nice bow on the top join it in but we still got those wee empty spaces cute belly empty space so we can see the bow And some puffs. Actually, a cute hands. <laughs> and then the feet. So I suggest you start with the fit, feet first. before you start finishing uh, painting the belly okay because we need to so clean my brush because i'm going to be really precise now in here i don't want to lose this uh, floor of the snow tidy up the edges there Okay, and then join everything in, but keep those empty space. And this way we have painted a cute teddy beer. Now is the time to sprinkle it and show you the final look of those uh, beautiful designs which we have created. So I'm just touching it up with the sugar. Cook it well and I show you the final look. So the bell was first, remove the excess of the sugar. That's our first design going on the side and here. I think they look super cool together. Then the snowflake. I like the snowflake, but the teddy bear is the cutest one. What you think, guys? <laughs> okay, and the teddy bear, I need a couple seconds more because the sugar needs to be always cooked really well. So we're just waiting for the teddy bear. There he is. Remove the excess. And the reason why the glitter doesn't stick in on the red part is because we have top coated with the high shine no wipe top gel. Okay, and that's the finished result. So I hope guys you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Glittery hacks and bye for now.